Jinsan is here with today's FanDuel Hurry Up, breaking down my top options for PGA DFS at the Players' Championship. In the top range, I want to go with more of a balanced approach for this week, which allows me to dip down to Daniel Berger at $10,500. Berger leads this field in strokes gained approach over the past 50 rounds, according to Fantasy National. Berger did miss the cut in Scottsdale, but bounced back with a fourth place finish at the Honda Classic. Berger does have course history, too. He finished ninth year last year, so Berger course history got the stats, he's got their current form as well, that's enough for me to feel really good about him at 10-5, giving me a more balanced approach at the top end of my roster. In the mid-range, I want to go back to Sung J M once again for this week, because M is just a good all-around golfer, which matters at such a tough course in such a tough field. M ranks 10th in strokes gained off the tee over the past 50 rounds, according to Fantasy National, and ranks 12th around the green in that time. Sung J is also a good Bermuda putter, and finished 17th here last year. He played great in the one round back in 2020 before the event was eventually canceled. So again, good course history, got some good stats. He's got decent current form right now as well, and it will cost you this $9,900. I think it's a really solid range to be in for this week. So Sung JM to me, a focal point in what is a really good tier on FanDuel for the players. I'm going to round things out here by value play being Tyrrell Hatton checking in at $9,500. And again, the, the upsides of a balanced approach means you don't have to dip as far down for your value plays, and Tyrrell Hatton, to me, is a standout down here for sure. Hatton has been mopping up internationally in 2022. He was runner-up runner up last week at the Arnold Palmer against a really tough field. But before that, he had top six finishes at the Abu Dhabi HSBC and the Dubai Desert Classic. Now, the one downside with Hatton is that his history at TPC Sawgrass is pretty bad, and that does matter at a pretty difficult course. But I'm expecting a nice showing here from Hatton, given how good his current form is. That's not a new thing for Hatton to enter the players with good current form and disappoint at TPC Sawgrass. But I think that with the way things are going right now and with his salary being where it is, I'm okay taking on that risk and using Hatton, despite his rough history at this course, hoping for a bounce back for this week. That's all we got here for today's FanDuel Hurry Up. Good luck for you at the Players' Championship. Hopefully things go well. We'll talk to you once again next week here on the FanDuel Hurry Up.